this segment, we'll be applauding a worthy champion whose recent remarkable feat cannot be overlooked. She was recently recognized by the British Council and Cambridge Assessment International Education. She was given two British Council Recognition and Outstanding Cambridge Learners Awards in one top in the world award for having the highest mark in Nigeria in Cambridge International as uh, AS level psychology. Right, I hope I got that right. A high achievement award for having the highest mark in Nigeria in Cambridge International AS and A level. Now, these levels examination are conducted in over 145 countries of the world with over a million students seating in the exams annually. Welcome, 18 year old Oluwa Bukolami Adeyemi. Congratulations. Thank you. Celebrate you. Good morning. We celebrate you. Now, to join the conversation, you can call us on 0810764 or 0902416340 or tweet to us at TVC Connect using the hashtag Your View on TVC. Oluwa Bukolami. I love that name. I like how it is called. Mm -hmm. Congratulations once Thank again. You. This is your first attempt at this, according to the details I found. Yes, it is. Right. So what inspired you to go to Whole Hog? How did you achieve this? What did you do differently? Because it happens in 145 countries. There are a lot of persons your age who, who perhaps also did this. But you did something differently that made you get this recognition give us the, the behind the scenes story <laughs> of what you did i think to start the behind the scenes story i have to just mention god okay. because that's the most important factor in everything that went down right. um the saying that goes play um pray as if everything depends on god oh, and yeah. work as if everything depends on you mm. i feel like that's really describes my entire experience in mm. preparing for the exam mm. um with what I did differently, I would say the major thing I did was prioritize. Mm. Um, what exactly did you prioritize? My academics, mm. definitely. It comes with the recognition that my academics was extremely sacrosanct and I just had to put it first before all else. So I actually did try to understand what worked for me how I would read, the time I would read, oh, and wow. how long I would spend reading something. So I would rather spend one hour reading actively than spending six hours reading passively and just like looking oh, okay. at the book and flipping through. Oh, okay. And I think a major factor that also contributed to my success was support. I had a lot of support from my family oh. and had a lot of support from my school. I attended Chrisland Pedigree College, oh, which right. is a sixth form college, where they take the Cambridge AS and A-level qualifications and other qualifications as well. Mm, that's nice. I like the fact that you had structure to whatever you wanted to do and you were able to recognize when the number of hours you needed to get in what was necessary to achieve this result. So who, who is going next? Mm -hmm. So um, usually I'm, I'm, I'm really happy about this news. We, we hear um, in, in this year we've had a bit of drama regarding results, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and from the jam and the girls, poor girls story. So it's interesting that this is verified um, achievement from you how did that make you um your parents feel what was the response what did you get from them did they like promise you the world did they deliver what they promise you know how we yeah. as parents want to ginger like i'm going to give you a b c d mm -hmm. when the result comes then we'll not negotiate how we'll first give you a, b, 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 c. so how was it though um i think i well i'm sure actually mm -hmm. that's what my parents have given me mm -hmm. for this is the best gift i could have asked for mm -hmm. um what i was promised mm -hmm. was i would be able to go to any university of my choice okay and by the grace of god i was able to secure admission into several universities in the united kingdom awesome. mm -hmm. and i have decided and have and i have my place confirmed at a Russell Group University in the United States. Wow, States. congratulations. Wow. So I'm just praying that God blesses my parents, Amen. the Definitely. finances they need, so they go through with their promise. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Well, That's good. My question would be about your parents. Yeah. Right? A lot of times we see that um, parents have a role to play in the success of their children, whether we, we acknowledge it or not um, openly. So what was your 
parents parenting how do i put this question how were your parents like involved involved not involved alone mm. how, how did you push what do you let me, let me please i, I, I get what you're going to <laughs> your other friends mm -hmm. what do you feel your parents did differently than what your other friends did like yeah. what's the okay. difference and then are they both um literates you okay. know because all of these things have an impact mm -hmm. on it mm -hmm. on your success yeah. so what was it like especially regarding your parents well, for my parenting, I would say that my parents have always been people to let us know what is more important. Mm -hmm. So first of all, the first thing in my house is, you know, God is important. Mm -hmm. And after that, we talk about family mm -hmm. and then education comes in. Mm -hmm. Like when I tell you my parents, are, they mm -hmm. prioritize our education. Mm -hmm. They've given I and my siblings the best Mr. Olumide Adeyemi and uh, Mrs. Uh, Olumide uh, Adeyemi. Uh, 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 they are so proud of you, I'm sure. <laughs> They, they really prioritize education and they are, in, they are very intentional about how we read, how we yeah. grew up. When I was in primary school, my mom would always like revise with us before we had tests in the car, we'll be going to school. Mm -hmm. And she would say, okay, in your notes, I'm seeing this and this and this, what's the answer to this? Okay. <laughs> but particularly in Christian Pedigree College where I did this exam, this Cambridge level exam, um, we couldn't have our phones. Mm. So I didn't have my actual phone we had to get like a small phone that could only be used for calls wow. and i can tell you that for sure i had calls from my parents every single day my mom would call in the morning and my dad would call in the evening <laughs> or like every other yeah. always mm. yes the follow-up was no, 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 no. back to back to back mm. they were so and i know that their prayers worked wonders for <laughs> right. right. i'm glad like, that yeah. you uh, mentioned phones because i was actually coming to that you know how Gen Zs love their phones and how TikTok. they want to pay exactly games they want to be on TikTok. How have you been able to strike a balance mm. between your academics and social life? Okay, well, I'm not going to stay here and just say <laughs> that I don't use social media because I think social media is a good addition to our society. Mm -hmm. I'm on everything on social media at the Sumia Day. Mm -hmm. ah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> At the senior day. Mm -hmm. And um, the thing is, you just have to prioritize. It's the same thing we've been saying since. Mm -hmm. um, in my school, which is Christian Pedigree College, where I went to, we were not allowed to have phones. Yeah, but they didn't cut off every single form of interaction we'd have with the outside world. Mm -hmm. So we had the small Nokia those small Nokia yeah. phones that all you can do with it is call. <laughs> so we would always be able to call our parents and reach out to people. But we didn't have access to phones like Instagram and Snapchat and TikTok and all those things. Mm -hmm. So throughout the time when I was preparing for this exam, I was actually in school throughout my summer holiday. Mm -hmm. So throughout summer, I didn't have access to TikTok, mm -hmm. Instagram, and I can confidently say that I'm still alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very important to that. that. Yeah. You mentioned yeah. that. Yeah. Right, good, good yes. lady, yeah, so yeah, before then, I'm sure there's been a trend of you being an E student. So before they collected the phone, you you had it academically so how, yeah so how have you been able to you know stay ahead academically even mm -hmm. before you had to write this exam um i think from a very young age okay. i just have been pushed the right way okay mm -hmm. my parents have always like pushed i my siblings okay. i'm day i said <laughs> yes you have to really mm -hmm. make Good. sure you're doing what you're doing in right. school so my siblings and i we have always been like pushed towards the right way i would say in primary school i graduated as the best graduating student oh, wow. and i finished from secondary school with all distinctions in my work wow. so i would say that it's the same thing that has been working for me god my parents that mm -hmm. works for me even to right. achieve this feat Fantastic. now i, I mm -hmm. like the fact that you are able to confidently mm -hmm talk about these things and that um, you recognize some of these things, the effort your parents put in place to inculcate all that you have become and the results you're getting. But we know how Gen Z's are, <laughs> resistance to um, parents trying to box them into becoming what they feel they should become. How, is, how were you able to see things the way your parents were seeing them such that you obeyed you followed despite external pressure. Mm -hmm. You're talking about God, but we know how we are or how things are with this generation, Gen Zs. A lot of them do not really see that God factor. How are you able to still hold on to that factor? What did you understand differently with regards to life that makes you believe, if I follow what my parents are saying, I'll actually be successful? Mm -hmm. 
Well, my parents' style of raising us has not been very do this because I said so. Right. I would have to say that they have always been, we've always been in the picture. If we're making this decision, you're going to make the decision with us. Mm -hmm. You want to go to this school. Why do you want to go to this school? We think this school is a good idea for you. What do you know about the school? Do you think? We've always been involved in making our own decisions. So I think from a very young age, I've always been there to see why they're making do this. Even as I grew up, right. I didn't have to ask too many questions. Or why did you say I should pray to God? Or why? Because God has been wonderful. wonderful to us. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't have to ask that question. Right. They, we've just always been involved. I've always been involved in every decision they wanted to take. They've never taken me to a school and said, you're going to this school because we said you should go to this school. Like, no. Yeah. So every involving day. your child mm -hmm. is critical. Yeah. Right. So my, my next question for you would be that you're, now you're going to UK. You know, and in my head, I was just thinking another talent leaving, leaving Nigeria. What ah. do you think about Nigeria and do you have plans to come back to at least contribute to the development mm. of our nation? Wonderful question. <laughs> Sincerely, it's okay. Sincere. If, yeah. <laughs> In truth, I have never been one that has decided to live abroad. Mm. Um, mm. When it comes to staying in Nigeria, I know from a very young age I've always had passion for social justice, mm. um, mm. development, like economic development of our country, things like that. Mm -hmm. And I just have always been very involved mm -hmm. or wanting to be involved in the whole Nigeria picture, the whole Nigeria development. story, mm -hmm. development, everything. So yes, I do have plans on coming uh, back to that, that's Korea. That's good news. Yeah. The music in my ears. Unfortunately, <laughs> we have to wrap up this yeah, conversation. Your dad is in the studio. Yes, yes. 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 Your daddy's girl and mommy's girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Both. Ah, yeah. me. I love that name. Congratulations, and we can only wish you the very best. Yeah. Now Shiny. your path is set before you. We can only pray God blesses you. Amen. As you Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on the show. <laughs>